Can you imagine pushing through a blizzard so thick you can barely see the hood of your truck, feeling the whole vehicle shake in the wind, while the temperature outside is so low that metal can crack and fuel can freeze? Now imagine you're not on a road at all. Under your tracks there's deep snow, thin ice and freezing water, and if your machine fails, there is no backup coming. That's daily reality for some of the wildest military expedition trucks ever built for the Arctic. These machines don't just drive from point A to point B, they cross frozen lakes, climb snow dunes and carry people, weapons, food, and even space crews in places where nature is trying to shut everything down. Today, you're going to see 10 of the most extreme Arctic military vehicles that humans have ever engineered. And if you stick with me until the end, you'll meet a monster that's closer to a land battleship than a truck. Let's start with a legend from Sweden. In the late 1970s, engineers there came up with a strange-looking two-part vehicle that looked almost like two boxes on tracks. It was the Banvane 206 or BV-206, and it quickly became the gold standard for moving over snow and swamp. On paper, it doesn't sound that impressive. It has a small V6 engine with around 125 horsepower, which is less power than many modern pickup trucks. But here's the trick. The BV-206 spreads its weight over very wide rubber tracks. That gives it incredibly low ground pressure, so instead of sinking into soft snow or thin ice, it gently rides over the top. It's also amphibious, so when the snow ends and the icy water begins, it doesn't stop. It just keeps going, slowly swimming forward. It can carry up to 17 people or about 2 tons of cargo which is crazy for something that can go where even snowmobiles struggle. It has served with Sweden, Norway, Finland, Canada, and many other countries and it's still used today in rescue missions and scientific expeditions. Imagine being stuck in a remote Arctic outpost during a storm, hearing the low rumble of ABV 206 coming to pick you up. That sound would feel like pure hope dot, but Sweden didn't stop there. Decades later, they took the same idea and cranked everything up. That's how the BVS-1 Beowulf was born. If the BV-206 is a tough workhorse, the Beowulf is its heavily upgraded gym train cousin. It keeps the same two-module, articulated layout, but now the design is more modern, more protected, and a lot more powerful. Under the hood, you get a 6.7-liter diesel engine with around 270 horsepower and huge low-end torque. That engine, combined with a six-speed automatic transmission and advanced suspension, lets the Beowulf crawl over broken ice, deep snow, rocks and mud without losing traction. Inside, the crew sits in heated, insulated compartments that can handle temperatures below minus 40 degrees Celsius. In 2022, the U.S. Army ran a cold weather test program in Alaska, looking for the best possible vehicle for extreme snow operations. The Beowulf came out on top, beating its rivals and winning the cold weather all-terrain contract. That means American soldiers in the Arctic will rely on Swedish engineering when things get really cold. And if you think that's impressive, wait until you see what Finland brings to the battlefield Dot the Patri 6x6 doesn't ride on tracks. It rolls on six huge wheels. At first, that might make you think it's less capable in the snow, but this Finnish armored transport vehicle was designed from day one to handle frozen terrain. Under its angular body is a strong but efficient turbo diesel engine with close to 300 horsepower, connected to a smart 6x6 all-wheel drive system. It has differential locks, independent suspension, an adjustable ride height, so the crew can raise the vehicle over snowdrifts or lower it for better stability. On the road, it can reach highway speeds and travel hundreds of miles on a single tank of fuel. That's critical in the Arctic where fuel depots can be extremely far apart. Militaries in Finland, Sweden, and Latvia have all chosen the Patri 6x6 for their modern fleets, and they've taken it into serious Arctic training exercises. In one test in Lapland, a Patri reportedly ran for days over icy, rough terrain without needing maintenance. Inside, troops sit in padded, heated, insulated seats, which might not sound like a big deal until you've tried to ride for hours in an unheated metal box at minus 30. Comfort in those conditions isn't a luxury. 
It's part of StayingEffective.now. Let's move from Nordic designs to Russian Arctic predators. The Hishnik 6x6, whose name literally means predator, looks like a cross between a truck and a small off-road bus on steroids. It's built for Siberia, which is like the Arctic's final boss. Winter there can mean weeks of temperatures below minus 40 degrees, brutal winds and massive distances between settlements. The Hishnik is powered by a tough inline 6 diesel engine with about 240 horsepower. It's not made to be fast. It's made to be unstoppable. Its giant soft low-pressure tires let it float over deep snow and soft tundra like a hovercraft on wheels. The suspension uses special materials and fluids that are designed not to freeze, so the shocks keep working even when a normal truck would be stiff as a brick. The high ground clearance helps it climb over snowbanks and frozen ruts. Oil and gas companies use it to reach remote drilling sites. Scientists have used it to follow reindeer migration across the tundra. On one mission, a Hishnik stayed in service for more than two weeks straight, crossing ice and snow without a single mechanical failure. Out there, that level of reliability means people get home alive, but Russia also has a soft spot for dramatic. Almost movie-like machines and nothing shows that better than the Zhell 4906. This is not just a truck. It's a cosmonaut rescue platform. During the Cold War, Soviet space capsules sometimes landed far away from their planned zone, including in frozen forests, icy rivers, and snow-covered plains. The Zeal 4906 was designed as the answer to a terrifying question. What if our crew lands in the middle of nowhere in winter? This 6x6 amphibious giant runs on a big V8 gasoline engine and has a hull that can float. It can drive through snow, power through broken ice, and then swim across open water to reach its target. More than once it was sent out after a space mission to pick up returning cosmonauts whose capsules came down off course. Imagine sitting in a freezing metal ball after re-entering Earth's atmosphere, hearing nothing but wind, and then, after hours, the sound of a Zil 4906 climbing over ice towards you. It's like being rescued by a steel beast from a Soviet sci-fi film. And if you think that's cinematic, the next Arctic machine blends heavy-duty performance with the feel of a Romy. Self-contained outpost. The TTM 4902 is one of those vehicles that looks simple at first glance. But the longer you stare at it, the more you realize it was built for a completely different lifestyle. It's a 6x6 expedition truck from Russia designed for places where the map is mostly blank and the only road is the track you make yourself. Under its hood is a strong six-cylinder diesel engine with around 240 horsepower, tuned for low-speed pulling power instead of racing. The frame is reinforced, the suspension uses cold-resistant parts, and almost every surface is built to survive salt, ice, and constant vibration. The most striking feature is its huge, low-pressure tires which spread the truck's weight over a big area like inflatable snowshoes. That means it can cross soft snow, frozen mud, and cracked river ice without breaking through. Inside, the cabin and rear module are fully insulated and heated, which is vital when temperatures outside can drop below minus 50 degrees Fahrenheit. Some versions are fitted as mobile clinics, fuel carriers, workshops, or command posts. In one famous run, a convoy of TTM trucks delivered supplies along a more than 500-mile Arctic route during a major snowstorm, crossing frozen rivers and open tundra without a single mechanical failure. Imagine looking out of a village window in the middle of a whiteout and seeing those trucks, slowly rolling in like moving islands of safety. If six wheels are good, eight wheels can be insane. The TKL the E-Arctic 8 by 8 is a Russian-built expedition truck that looks like it was designed by someone who loves balloons and hates getting stuck. Instead of ordinary tires, it uses enormous, soft, low-pressure ones that make the whole truck look almost cartoonish. But those tires are the key. They spread the weight so well that the TKLE can roll over thin ice and deep snow where other vehicles would immediately break through or bog down. Underneath, it has a small but tough engine with around 150 horsepower, 
connected to a full-time 8x8 drive system. Again, it's not about speed. It's about traction and survival. The body is made from lightweight composite materials, which helps keep the overall weight down and improves insulation. Inside, up to 10 people can sit in warmth, with supplies and survival gear stored around them. Rescue teams, oil workers and scientists use it to reach outposts at change with the seasons, where one year you're crossing frozen lakes and the next year you're driving over swamp. During a brutal blizzard, a TKL E8x8 was reportedly the only vehicle able to evacuate civilians from an isolated village after other trucks and even aircraft were grounded. When everything else stops, the TKL E keeps crawling forward. Now, let's turn up the sci-fi dial. The Rozak 8x8 is another Russian Arctic machine, but this one looks like it escaped from a concept art sketchbook. Its cabin has large panoramic windows, the body lines are modern and sharp, and the overall shape feels more like a space rover than a traditional truck. But beneath that futuristic style is a serious expedition tool. A six-cylinder diesel, engine sends between 170 and 200 horsepower to all eight wheels through a robust transmission. It's amphibious so it can float and paddle through water at low speeds and its huge low-pressure tires act almost like flotation devices. The modular interior can be configured as a medical unit, command center, or cargo hauler. Arctic patrols and research teams use it to cross broken ice fields and deep snow that are constantly changing. In one mission, a Rauzak completed a more than 70-mile route through heavy snow and near zero. Visibility without needing a tow or any external help. Picture trying to navigate in those conditions with almost no visual landmarks. And you start to appreciate why a machine like this needs both rugged hardware and smart design, while Russia and the Nordic countries dominate the list so far. The United States also has a serious Arctic-capable monster, the Oshkosh MK-48, built as part of the US Marine Corps' logistics system. This 8x8 articulated truck was created for battlefield logistics in some of the harshest environments on Earth. Its large turbocharged diesel V8 pumps out around 450 horsepower. And that power goes to eight driven wheels through a heavy-duty automatic transmission. The front and rear modules are connected by an articulated joint, allowing the MK48 to twist over uneven terrain and maintain traction where a normal, rigid truck would lift wheels off the ground. It can carry more than 20 tons of cargo including containers, fuel tanks and even smaller vehicles. It has been tested in Arctic conditions, driving over snow and ice while hauling military equipment at surprisingly high speeds. In one mission, in one mission, an MK-48 convoy transported sensitive radar components across an icy region after aircraft were grounded because of dangerous weather. The trucks delivered everything on time, proving that brute force plus smart engineering can sometimes beat the sky dot, and now we arrive at the king. If the other trucks on this list are Arctic beasts, the VTR's DT-30PM is an Arctic Titan. This is a gigantic track two-part vehicle built in Russia for the harshest polar and swampy environments. It weighs tens of tons when fully loaded and is powered by a massive V12 diesel engine with more than 700 horsepower. Each of its two modules rides on super wide tracks. And those tracks spread out the weight so well that the DT3 OPM can cross soft snow, peat bogs and even floating ice fields that would swallow ordinary vehicles. It's also amphibious, using its big sealed hulls and track motion to paddle slowly through water. Inside, it can carry huge payloads of cargo, including missiles, radar stations, fuel, food, or building materials for remote bases. It has supported military operations, Arctic research, and even nuclear-related transport missions where failure is not an option. One wealthy owner even converted a DT-30 into a private mobile lodge with a warm interior, generator, and luxury touches, just to travel across Siberia in winter in total safety. Standing next to this machine, you get the feeling that if the world were covered in snow and ice tomorrow, this is one of the few vehicles that would still be moving dots, so now you've seen what it really takes to move through the Arctic when lives. 
missions and entire research programs are on the line. These trucks don't exist to look cool in photos, even though they do. They exist because some places on Earth are so hostile that without machines like these, we simply couldn't reach them. From Sweden's flexible twin-body snow crawlers to Finland's armored 6x6, to Russia's balloon-tired 8x8 rovers and gigantic tracked titans. Every vehicle on this list is a different answer to the same tough question. How do you keep going when nature is trying to stop you? Now I want to hear from you. If you had to pick one of these arctic monsters for a long polar expedition, which one would you trust with your life? Would you go with something smaller and more agile, or would you choose the biggest tracked beast and turn it into your own moving fortress? Let me know in the comments, and if you enjoyed this journey into the world of extreme cold weather machines, make sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and tap the notification bell so you don't miss our next trip into the world of unbelievable engineering. Narrative perspective used, the script is written in second person, speaking directly to the viewer with words like you imagine and now you've seen to make them feel like they are inside the arctic missions rather than just watching from outside storytelling devices used it uses vivid scenario openings curiosity hooks escalating intensity from smaller vehicles to the final titan emotional stakes around survival and rescue and soft cliffhangers between trucks with lines like if you think that's impressive, wait until to keep viewers engaged.